Hello, this is Tom from Triform Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can apply a texture or different textures to one model. Uh, with this particular model, this was modeled, we did this in a, a new series that I've started called Blender Quickest for Beginners. And this is just modeled from one cube, not from several meshes. You know, did, I did model the cushion separately and the base separately. It's all just one model, and I'll leave a link of that in the description below. And it's all from one cube. And we want to try, we want to apply different textures to the chair, you know, have the cushions one color or one texture, then have the base of the chair one texture also. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use Control E, which is a keyboard shortcut for mark seams. And what this does, people usually use or mark seams on a model in order to UV and wrap a model to apply textures. But for myself, I don't really like uh, applying or doing UVs. I mean, it's it's not cumbersome, but when you do freelance, you want to do stuff as quickly as possible. And using the UV uh, system, the UV technique is kind of time consuming. So. I'm going to show you I can use Control E to mark seams and section off different sections of your model in order to apply textures. Now we're going to press tab and go in edit mode. In order for this to work properly, is you want to be in edge select mode. So if you're not in edge select mode, just go down to your the window of your user interface and just click on this icon here and it'll, and it'll automatically turn this into an edge selection into the edge selection mode. And you want to hover over uh, an area where you want to start your selection and you want to hold on alt the reason why you want to do that is because you want to select a number of edges at once as opposed to click on on an edge with you know left click then hold down shift left click again hold down shift left click again that's just time consuming so what you want to do is hold down alt and then hover hover over an area let's do the seats actually this is where we want to apply the texture. Hold down Alt, and you want to hover over an edge and left click, and it has chosen this section, this whole loop of, of uh, edges. And you want to compress. You want to press Control E, and then from the pop-up menu, click on Mark Seam. You can tell that the seams have been marked because of the fact that it's now red. Just let's press A. You see that it's red. And the next step is you want to go from edge select mode into face select. Click on that. And this is the only way this is going to work. Uh, so you want to left click in the section where you want the texture to be applied. You want to press Control L. And it's just going to select the faces that are in the section where you clicked, which is where, which is this right here. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your material tab click on that and press plus twice and the reason why we do that is we want blender to know that we want to apply texture to this section and not the rest of the chair so we have to you know set our boundaries up here so let's click on the first section click new and we'll, let's call this uh, chair base so C H A I R space B A S E Let's click on left click on the bottom part, new again, and click inside this area again, and now it's going to highlight this area so you can name it whatever you want to name it. So let's call this chair body. Okay. And for this top part, I don't know, let's click assign just to make sure we clicked on that because I don't know if I clicked on it or not. Chair body, what we're going to do is press Control I and that will flip our selection. So Control I and this now flips it. We're going to click assign on that. So for this section, chair base, we have that selected. For the um, chair body, we have that selected. So let's press it and get out all that. And then let's click on that because we want to apply the texture to the base of the chair. We're going to pull this down, hover over that pull down those two lines hold down your left mouse button pull that all the way down I'm going to turn this into the uh, node editor window and we're going to do that by going here and clicking on the 
node editor icon that brings this up and let's tab out of this we're going to go to turn this from blender render to blender cycles and we're going to click on use nodes and that brings up our nodes here let's left click on that press X get rid of that we're going to use the principal shader and I like using the principal shader shift A to bring up the pop menu and from the shader from that extended menu let's click on principal shader and I like using this because this has all the nodes that you're going to need in order to apply a texture properly to whoever you want to apply the texture to and let's drag this over let's connect this together okay in order to zoom in so you can see what you're doing in the uh, in your node editor is you scroll up on your mouse wheel scroll down to zoom out scroll up to zoom in and we're going to apply the node wrangler which is control T keyboard shortcut if, if you press control T on your keyboard and nothing happens that means the node wrangler hasn't been uh, activated yet so click on file user preference and in the search box here let's type in node and this will come up mine has already been activated just make sure that the checkbox there to make sure that it is activated let's click on that to exit out of that press control T let's press G to pull all this up we have this in order to scroll from side to side just hold down your middle mouse button and then you can just scroll move your mouse from side to side scroll from side to side and now we're going to turn this from UV to generate it pull that down and turn this from point to texture and we're going to click on you see my mouse isn't really responding properly but let's click on open and I'm going to go to where I've uh, saved my textures which is in blended textures that's the folder I've saved it in let's change the uh, view of our display here by going to the top of our user interface and click on this, these four little cubes or four little triangles or excuse me rectangles and click on that that gives us a very better visual of what we're trying to choose and let's scroll down and let's see what we can pick we're going to pick a uh, fabric here let's pick this one double click on this and let's turn this from our display here from the uh, mode this mode from let's mode, let's mode this let's go to material and there you go that's been applied and it's been applied actually real, very well just from one click you can see that now the fabric has been applied to the chair base and the body is has been left uh, without a texture applied to it now if you apply a texture and it doesn't look it looks kind of strained if it's stretching weird or distorted somehow what you'd want to do is go into this part of your node and you want to just kind of mess with these parameters here you know these settings you can go to tube you know just see what works go to sphere and that looks now that looks kind of different if you want like a kind of a button in the middle of, of your chair that would work or go to box which is what you know which is which also works but it's kind of turning the wrong way or go to flat which is what it was before and that looks very good so once again this is just a blender quick tip of how you can use seams to section off different parts of your mesh uh, if you want to apply different textures to different parts of your mesh by using control E so once again this is Tola from Triple Production with this blender quick tip and I hope it helps someone and I would just want to thank you guys who have subscribed and who watched the videos really appreciate that and appreciate you guys quite a bit and uh, yeah thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one have a great evening have a great night and have a great life all right adios